Hi everyone, welcome back to Unscripted Coding. It shouldn't be surprising to you that we're going to talk about stable diffusion yet again today. It's a pretty key technology and we've done a couple videos already. But today what we're going to do is talk about one of the spin-offs called Rift Fusion. Um, so let's, let's go back for a second. Stable diffusion, for those who don't know, is this new text to image AI tool. So if you say uh, certain things, I, I have no clue what this is, but maybe a fantasy uh, setting, very intricate details, a spaceship and some sky and some seas, um, the AI will try and paint a picture and it will do all sorts of different pictures depending, of course, on what you tell it to draw. Um, one of the very cool spin-offs for this is called Rift Fusion. And I think it's worth talking about just how it works. Um, Stable Diffusion, of course, uses AI, as you can see here, to generate an image. It starts with blocks of colors, random colors, and it starts um, putting things into focus, starts shaping those blobs and bits and, and pixels until you know, after uh, 10, 20, 50, 100 um, iterations, it creates an image that fits your prompt. Um, what the people at Refu Refusion have done is they've actually just transformed all this music into um, spectrograms, so images as well. Now, you and I look at this and go, "What? what is this with, you know, what does this mean? But what it is is a bunch of different sound waves and um, as you go down the image uh, different sound plays um, and so what they've done is basically turn all these into images and then ask stable diffusion or at least a fork of it to uh, generate more of these spectrograms um, and that's really all there is to it if you take if you go to their main website, and I'm gonna unmute this, uh, you can play a bunch of different songs and it will generate on the go. And our project today is to see how we can deploy this locally. I see this um, post on Reddit, but they also have a bit of a guide on, on the website. So you can go into um, their GitHub, which, uh, I will have to figure out where it goes. Um, but you can go into their GitHub and deploy something similar to this. So first of all, let's just listen to something quite random. Okay, so we're gonna see how to set this thing up. It's still relatively new, so there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of guides on how to set this up um, and what it entails. But uh, very simply, once it gets set up, hopefully we can generate these images and spit out some music. Okay, so uh, summary. Um, we have followed loosely uh, the installation of the Refusion Refu app and inference server. So really all we had to do was first download this is the app, 
Um, instead of using Conda, I, I like using pip. So just download the code, put it in a folder, and pip install all the requirements. Now, you might want some additional pieces, and most importantly, CUDA, and this will come back later, but you don't want to use your CPU if you have a good graphics card. Um, that will slow down everything. So that is the um, Refusion in the background. And then you have this front end, which is this web page right here. Um, this is, sorry, um, this one right here, the Refusion app. And once again, all you have to do is download it, npm install, so if you have Node.js, which I already did, make sure you have a recent version, and then you can run. And what we have is two separate command line um, tools. First of all, I had to run this one, which uh, npn, npm run dev, so this one. This uh, runs the, <clears throat> the web page, and then in the back end, we are doing the virtual environment, creating a server. So um, in this side, we are running this code right here, where it runs a server that does all the back end stable diffusion AI stuff. Um, I had two, a couple challenges, but two that I've decided just isn't really worth the time. First of all, CUDA. Um, if you've played around with stable diffusion or anything AI locally, chances are you've had to install it and you've had to install different versions depending on your app. Um, it is a pain every time because you gotta look up what your graphics card is, what version, you gotta make sure it all works together. And for whatever reason, um, it just was not working for me. So up here you have CUDA is not available using CPU. So it took nine minutes to make a song. Um, difficult. Uh, the other one is I was just hitting this error where the system couldn't find the file. Um, this was where I went, nine minutes, it's not really worth it. Uh, seems very, very simple. So you might, might, ah, you might want to give it a try. Um, see if it all just lines up perfectly and works. If it does, then that's great. But what I'm realizing, and I, I suppose I should have done my research before starting this, is that the app is exactly, it's exactly, um, the website and when I was playing with the website it was it was fast um, you put in something in here uh, you only have to wait a couple of seconds you probably have to click into it to skip the current song um, and and you get to hear the song already uh, if if they're doing the same thing there's no reason why I need to use my own computer go through all of this like there's no oh, I get to fiddle with the settings, I get to do all these things with a slider on the side. Um, you are getting literally the website that's posted online. So not, not a huge draw. So in this case, I'm just gonna call it quits. We have it probably 95% of the way there. Um, it's just not really uh, worth trying to figure out CUDA and then you know the next time they do a major update rehaul this this interface for all of those things it might need a different CUDA version it might break other things um, so just uh, just go with the website it's so it's so quick it's so fast to generate your music no reason to go through all that hassle um, I'm just gonna end with Let's let's go smooth tropical dance jazz. I will see you all. <laughs>